Now, we use DSD because it is a far superior sounding technology. Absolutely, I've proven it more than a few times. I proved it to Mark Waldrip at the old PS Audio. Now, he tells a slightly different story, but he heard the difference. Um, and that was just between high resolution and low resolution PCM. In any case, I'm not going to get into a pissing match with Mark, because again, I have a great deal of respect for Mark. He wrote a book, it's got to be that thick. I mean, how he ever did that, it's, it, it, it explains everything. I mean, if you want a great book on all of this from a very smart man, Mark Waldrop is the guy. Doctor, 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 Mark Waldrop. So, let's see. First off, if it was just a marketing ploy, I would come up with something a lot different than just DSD. Here's why. DSD is a royal pain in the ass. Total pain in the ass. You can't edit it. You can't, I mean, it, it is exactly the wrong thing to use in a recording studio. And it's why most people don't use it. Most people, you can go out and buy a copy of Pro Tools, uh, which is an Avid product, great product, used all over the world, and have a field day. And we could have done that and still couldn't do that and, and just have gotten great results. I mean, Abbey Road, that's what they use at Abbey Road. I mean, there's, you know, great studios all over the world using Pro Tools and, uh, oh, what are the other ones? Uh, I don't remember. But anyway, they're all PCM-based music systems, recording systems, because they're easy to edit. You can build huge systems, and there's tons of available stuff. DSD? Nah, you're down on the weeds. And so you better believe that DSD is better or you're an idiot because, not, not that you're an idiot that you don't believe it, but you're an idiot to use it because it is so difficult. It makes life so hard. So I am dedicated to DSD, as is Gus, and who's the one that got me going on it, as is Ted, who designs our DAX. And in direct A-B comparisons, which we do for people all the time. When we have musicians coming here for Octave, they don't know what DSD is. They have no clue. They just know that we have a cool studio and it sounds really good. So we will routinely record at the exact same time 176 PCM and 1FS, which is 64, anyway, at, at, uh, one, one, one times DSD. Um, at the same time, we'll make Exact, I mean, just, just like Mark was saying. And then we will play for them the two copies. And you tell us, do you hear a difference between this one, I don't even tell them what it is, or that one. Whoa, what's that one? That, all of a sudden, I can hear everything going on in the symbols. I can, I can hear, you know, space, and it, it sounds like it's live, and that sounds like it's recorded. That's the biggest difference. That's why we tolerate the pains in the butt that we go through for DSD at Octave Records. So absolutely, not only do I believe it, it's easily proven to anybody willing to take the time to listen. Seriously. Once we get our new studios built, which, my dear God in heaven, with the parts pandemic, the city of Boulder and Permit, oh my God, oh, my, it makes my head hurt thinking about trying this thing built. But one day we're going to build the doggone studio. It'll be done. And then hopefully the pandemic's all over with. Anybody can come. We're going to have tours. You can come and see. You'll be able to hear for yourself. And I'd be happy to demonstrate it to you.